guys, welcome back once again. It is me, Molt. So happy to be here with you guys as always. And today I have a Town Hall 7 trophy base. Um, I've made a couple of farming bases for you guys, and I see in the comments a lot of people asking for trophy bases. I personally wouldn't push trophies at Town Hall 7, but I mean, if, if you have fun doing that or like it, then you know, I'm not going to keep you guys from doing that. Uh, but yeah, so that's what's going to happen in this video. Um, today, guys, it is a blizzard outside right now. I'm not even going to lie. There's like eight inches of snow, and I'm not going into work tomorrow. The roads are ridiculous. I just looked out the window. <laughs> it's still snowing. It's supposed to snow like all the way through the night. Um, so it's going to be ridiculous. I'm actually probably posting this in the morning, but I'm recording it at night. <laughs> Um, but why don't we go ahead and get this thing going. I'm going to adjust the camera right there. Um, and let's go into remove all. There we go. And then if you see me looking over to the side, this is because I've got my base built over here um, on Clash of Clans Builder. So, yeah, like I said, this is going to be a Town Hall 7 trophy base. So that means we're going to be t protecting our little Town Hall 7, right? Right. Okay. So let's go ahead and start off. Um, one thing that I know a lot about lower levels like Town Hall 7 and whatnot um, is that people use different kinds of army compositions. The one that I use the most is Giant Healer because a lot of times people at Town Hall 7 don't try to defend against it too well. Um, so that is what I'm going to be uh, defending against. Um, also, defending against any kind of aerial attack is, is pretty much what this design is based off of. Um, so, most people don't use hogs at all down at Town Hall 7, so <laughs> that's where we're at with this. But as you can see, right now I have my air defenses in the middle. Um, and the reason that I have my air defenses in the middle, like I said, is just so that if people who are attacking with healers or anything... Uh, I, attack my base or even think about attacking my base they'll be like okay no I'm not attacking this base because he's got two he's got all of his air defenses very very well protected in the middle um, so nobody nobody's gonna mess with me when they see that um, also as you can see the mortar is uh, a pretty good distance away from the air defense because most people that run giant healer are going to um, run with a uh, with lightning spells and you definitely want to uh, defend against those lightning spells so um, that's why that mortar is off to the side because then it's not going to get as much damage as it would as if it's touching um, and I'm pretty sure I'm not 100% sure about this but I'm like 95% sure Teslas don't get damaged by lightning spells unless they're out invisible I could be wrong I probably should have researched it but I'm pretty sure that that's the case so um, we're going to put our clan castle in the middle as well because that is one of the most important defenses as I say literally all the time. <laughs> uh, so we're going to put that right there and then we're going to bring in one of our mortars right here and then we're going to bring in our other mortar right here so that as always we have those triangulated and they do a very very good job of covering the base. Um, next we're going to bring in our wizard towers. We're going to put one right here and we're going to bring the other wizard tower right over here and we're going to put one trap right in there and we're going to put another trap right in there good job good job molt <laughs> and then we're going to uh, bring in a cannon and put a cannon right there and we're going to bring in another cannon and put that cannon right there um, let's go ahead and bring in these walls we're getting pretty close to maxing out our walls um, I probably just need a couple more good days raiding hopefully tomorrow if I do happen to have a snow day I can raid a lot um, and really get myself uh, up there in the walls and stuff so that we can bring this thing to Town Hall 8 when I first started my YouTube channel I'm pretty sure that I was at Town Hall 8 um, I could have been at Town Hall 7 but I think I was at Town Hall 8 I need to go back that was like seven months ago at this time um, or at this point so uh, that's where we're at right now uh, as you can see the mortars are triangulated the wizards do a good job of covering uh, of covering the base they almost they do intersect almost perfectly right there you can see uh, if you look at the town hall um, you can see that their lines almost intersect right there so 
they're doing a good job of covering the base. Uh, let's go ahead and bring in some of our storages as well. Um, Elixir is important when you're raiding or you're trophy pushing. Um, so definitely keep that in mind as to where Oops, didn't mean to bring that out. Uh, so definitely keep that in mind as you think about um, the layout of your base and if you want to trade things out, blah, blah, blah. Like if you want to put these elixir storages in the middle and move the air defenses out, you can. It just depends on what you're getting attacked by. Um, but yeah, so elixir is definitely, I didn't mean to bring that kind of wall out. Elixir is definitely important when you're raiding, especially if you use really, really expensive armies. Um, I personally do not use expensive armies uh, just because it seems like a waste to me. When it comes to trophy pushing though, most of the time I just use hogs, which are expensive when it comes to dark elixir, but otherwise I don't have to protect my elixir as much. I can still protect my gold and just upgrade walls. Uh, but let's keep on trucking, keep on moving along here. Um, why don't we go ahead and bring in this gold storage right here, yep, cannon right here, and again gold storage right here, and cannon right here, and once again guys, this is a trophy base, so that is why my friends, we are not protecting our resources, um, because we don't want to, we want to protect our trophies, right, yep. That's what a trophy base does. <laughs> so that's why these are um, out towards the outside, obviously. Um, bring that in. So I'm, I'm spreading everything out right now. Whoa, I totally... What did I just do? Wow. <laughs> I was not paying attention at all. Dang it. I knew that was going to happen. <laughs> all right, so we got to take this guy out. No. Yes. So this guy goes right here. What did I do? I'm such a weirdo. Select row. Dang it, I knew I was going to select all those. Oh. Alright, so now we can remove this. Bring this guy in here. Man, that was weird. Alright, so Archer Tower goes right there. Remove, remove. Bring this out here. Bring it all the way in. There we go. Bring this out. Bring that out. Alright, so there we go. That was Instagram. If you guys don't follow me on Instagram, go ahead and do so. Actually, follow me on Twitter. I tweet a lot more than I uh, Instagram, if you will. So um, it's MultCOC. It's right below you on my little graphic that you see right there. Uh, so definitely follow me there. I am a little out of it right now. Um, so I'll just go ahead and explain kind of what I'm doing. As you can see, I'm spreading out my mortars and wizard towers, like I already said. Also, my point defenses are spread out pretty well. So we have cannon, archer, cannon, archer, cannon, woo, archer, cannon, archer, cannon. So these two cannons are the only ones that are next to each other. It's good to spread them out all around the base because they do different things. Uh, archers can shoot air troops, cannons cannot. So you want to make sure that they are spread out all the way around, uh, around your base. So, and then I'm going to take these one two three two three there we go just put that there because it looks kind of cool <laughs> um and then stop whoever that is guys if you guys start to follow me on instagram please don't do what this guy's doing right now he's probably watching this video stressed out i don't like getting a thousand likes on all of my pictures that i posted like forever ago it's kind of frustrating to be honest um Let's go ahead and bring this out here as well because it messes up my videos. You know what I'm saying? Bring this right here. All right, I feel like I'm missing one. Oh, I am. Uh, let's just take a random wall from right here. Fill that in. Bring this right here. And then we're also going to bring this one. This way somebody can't just hit that corner. They're going to have to get lucky and aim at those. So there is the layout of, um, of the trophy base. I think it'll work pretty well. I don't think I'm going to keep it because I'm not trophy pushing right now. I am farming. Um, but I will show you guys the rest of how I have it laid out. So I want to put a trap right in here. Uh, you want to put a trap right in here. 
and you want to put traps right in here and in here and I'm gonna explain to you guys why I put my bombs and whatnot where they are so if somebody breaks in right here on the right side and they attack this cannon right then if I had my giant bomb like say I had say that I had this wizard tower right here and my giant bomb was right here if there were giants going through there they wouldn't die from that explosion from the giant bomb so what would happen is if I had those switched they would hit that giant bomb they would be damaged and then they would go and get sprung by the spring traps what I would rather have happen is 100% health giants get sprung by the spring traps and then other giants go and get hit with the bomb and then get killed by the other defenses that that way you're not wasting that way you're not wasting traps because if a 50% health giant gets sprung by a spring trap then that's a waste because he could have died by archers and, and whatnot so you definitely want to think about that when it comes to the layout of your base um, I think that's very very important uh, we're also gonna bring in some bombs right here and we're gonna put a couple bombs up in here blah 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 and then let's go ahead and where did I put those other bombs oh yeah we put some in the middle so bomb right here bomb right here we're gonna bring our air traps in here as well we can just throw this one in there that's fine <laughs> um, and then uh, as always guys you wanna make sure to spread out the rest of your stuff so we're gonna do army camp army camp army camp army camp and then like I always 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 say make sure that you alternate your um, your mines and whatnot so we have a gold mine then we have a barrack then we have another mine and then we don't have anything because of the yeah let's put a builder saw right there um, okay and then so we have elixir and let's actually do elixir uh, barrack gold mine um, and then builders hut and then we're going to do one storage right there let's do gold right here and then barrack and then elixir and barrack and gold mine there we go and then elixir and barrack where, where else do we have room? I'm, I'm spreading them out too much. Put this right here. Bring this over here. Bring this right here. Builder's Hut. And Gold Mine. Bring this right down in here. Bring this bad boy over. No, we're going to do Builder's Hut. Right. What? How did I have that? I'm sorry, but the main goal of it is that you want to make sure that you spread out your uh, your mines and collectors so that somebody can't just attack one side and get everything, right? Does that make sense? I hope that it does because it's very, very important. Um, I'm not going to bring the rest of it out, but there is the base design for you guys. Um, I think that it will work pretty well. I'm not going to show defense replays or anything because um, I'm still farming. But I wanted to make this for you guys since so many of you requested it. Why don't y'all comment down below how it works for you if you decide to go ahead and make it for your trophy base. And uh, yeah, that's going to be it for this episode, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I really, really do appreciate the support. Hope that y'all have a great day and I hope that you have a great upcoming weekend as well. But hey, as always, guys, make sure that you keep calm and clash on for me, right? I'll see you guys later.